You know, you watch the guys on TV and they're doing this crazy stuff with the pans and there's food flying in the air and people like to see food flying in the air and they like to see their food set on fire. If you can set it on fire and fly it through the air at the same time, that's a big victory. If you want to do this like they do in their, in their professional kitchen, it's not an up and down motion. If you've ever tried to do that, and I know I've had people that are kind of mystified. They go, wow, that is so cool that you do that. There's really nothing cool about it. It works just as well if you want to take a spatula and stir it. But when you're working the line in a restaurant and you've got all these pans going, you don't want to keep crossing and contaminating with different spatulas. You grab the handle and it's a back and forth motion. It's not an up and down motion. If you just kind of go back and then forward and occasionally you're going to lose a piece. I like to take it off the uh, cooking surface and just kind of give it a little bit flip. You leave, put the downside, put the front side down a little bit and then just flip it towards you. What you're looking for is whatever's in this pan is going to go to that edge and come back, go to that edge and come back. So I have a few strays. Um, what I suggest you do is get a bag of beans that doesn't cost very much at all. You go out in the backyard and do a little flipping and if you happen to lose a bean or two, well that's no big deal. So flip your food like the chefs do and next time I'll show you how to set your beard on fire.